Welcome everybody to the seasonal diet, eating what our ancestors ate, when they ate it, like we were evolved to do. So today we are doing a little spring scramble using only in-season items that our ancestors would have had access to in the spring. So first, we're starting with the spinach here. Um, so this is really the first uh, vegetables that start growing after the winter time, the leafy greens. And the spinach is great for omelets, so that's going in. Of course, we have to add a hefty amount amount of butter. Next uh, ingredient is the mushrooms. Now mushrooms are typically a fall uh, in season item but many mushrooms do have a short season in the spring depending on the climate and where you call home. So we're adding a couple of those. Um, pork is the next ingredient. That is very important because pork is what our ancestors would have had access to most throughout the winter, but it would have been uh, the preserved stuff, the salted porks, the dried porks, things like that. So we're just putting a little bit of that in here, just like our ancestors would have had access to at this time of year because there wouldn't be much other meat in the diet. Then in goes the spinach and the eggs. Now this is the key. If you guys haven't uh, learned this trick already, it's a Gordon Ramsay trick. You have to put the eggs in off the heat. So take it off the heat, crack the eggs, put it in there. Then you can put it on the heat, stir it a little bit, mixing it all, scrambling it exactly the way you need. And then you take it off the heat again when it almost starts to be done. And that's how you prevent it from overcooking. We're adding a little bit of cheese to top it all off because that is something our ancestors would have had access to also in large amounts this type of year and that is about it it is done and ready to go just a quick little uh, fry up using all in season spring ingredients so follow along i'll try to do these every month because omelets basically the eggs and the cheeses the dairy those are things our ancestors would have had access to all year round if they had some livestock uh, in their uh, farm so let me know do you guys have any favorite omelets do you have specific ingredients you like to use at this time of year let us know down below